In the heart of captivating island of Zanzibar, Tanzania, a transformative journey unfolds. This documentary takes you on a voyage of hope and empowerment as you explore the inspiring story of Musa Gallery dedicated to reshaping lives and curbing drug addiction. I'm so glad finally we are at Zanzibar. My full name is Musa Ramazan Musa. Musa Gallery started in 2002. That was in Stone Town. Uh, I was living in Stone Town, that I was in the age of maybe 18, 20. I was running a f one gallery, then I went to the second gallery. I got about my teamwork, there were about 10 people. Uh, then it came a time when the Zanzibar, we had a big problem of power cutoff. It was about maybe three months without power. That time I decided to build a workshop because it, the business was very difficult. So I surrendered my one gallery. I took the money, then I built this workshop. Uh, this is our tailoring place. We have our tailors and this is a chief tailor. Here is a place after finishing all our product we are sending here for sewing and ready for packaging to go to the market. So now we have got a workshop and uh, this 2023, uh, we have this workshop and we have uh, one gallery in Stone Town. So guys, you can see like at Musa Art Gallery, they have uh, different kind of unique products. Yaji, Covid. All these products here are handmade, man. They are very unique and amazing, man. Handmade. Hi. My name is Valentina and I live in Zanzibar. So we are, uh, I'm a part of a... Um, NGO about uh, drug users and uh, their family. So the um, NGO is called the Reco Cornerstone Recovery Community, and uh, we are uh, we are working with a guy who has a gallery, art gallery. It's called his name is Musa Gallery, and uh, he he gave us the possibility to have a place where we can teach. Uh, the people who are uh, willing to leave uh, drugs, uh, la, um, like we can teach them uh, some job. And the jobs is about uh, the culture uh, here in Zanzibar, how to make uh, vikoi, batik, uh, this kind of uh, fabric, uh, and uh, soap, uh, organic soap, uh, organic lotion, uh, and uh, lampshade, um, handmade lamp, lamp, lampshade, and um, handmade um, t-shirt printing, uh, and uh, also some like uh, woodworking uh, and uh, painting. We have a uh, batik, we have a lamp, and we have a uh, bracelet, different, different of the bracelet. And this, everything you see here is made by people who recover from drug abuse. We have uh, Musa Gallery, Zanpud and Uvitas. Together with their collaboration, we took people from sob houses and different many areas to teach them how to help themselves by using art. So we drawing, we make batik, and we make a soap. That is a spice soap. You see it? So that is good for your, yes, that is a good for the skin, and uh, as you see batik. So this is a production of the people who recover from 
drug abuse. We have come here to support you. We are Teddy now, so you are welcome. I think the workshop is a great workshop. Uh, it's a workshop where they mainly work with textiles, uh, handcrafted uh, textiles from weaving to uh, batik making. You know when you are in the stores and you buy uh, uh, clothing, uh, you don't really get to know the stories behind the clothing. You buy it and then you go home and then you say, oh my God, I'm wearing something nice. but. To go to this workshop and to see how to see the clothing that are being produced, the, it's not clothing, the textiles that are being produced, how they are being produced is very, very inspiring. And Musa was telling me about the collaboration that they do with people who are in recovery, uh, that are in sober houses that comes here to um, uh, to learn the skill set of textile is also makes it even much more meaningful to buy the clothing they were at the sober house now they are very okay they come to their new life this after stopping using drugs As you can see, I bought a pants, but now I can say the pants has been made by people who are in recovery, that are getting second chance in their life, and then they can do something with their life now and not returning back to drugs. In a couple of years, we wanted to, to teach at least 60, 60 people for a year. So 120 people, it's like two years of training. The first three months uh, you have to teach, uh, to, to learn English. After that, uh, we start with the training uh, for, uh, with, for, uh, for the job, like uh, the job training. And uh, the project is like after the training, we want to give them the possibility to, to have their own job. So they will have uh, their own shop. So after that, uh, after the two years, uh, we want to we want to give them the possibility to start a new life because in Zanzibar, as many other country, I think the, the big problem is the people they don't doesn't have nothing to do. So that brings the people to use drugs and uh, to become and to like to throw their life away. Zanzibar, we are facing a big problem for the young people to use drugs, and uh, we know that the family get hurt to see their children or their um, lovers to go for drugs. But Musa Gallery, we have this center, we're supporting them. Once when they come here, uh, in three months, they can become a very good entrepreneurs. And uh, we like their we like parents to come to talk to us. And uh, till now, we have already secure about like 35 youth, they have been established their small business. Please, any parent, when they see their children have been addicted by drugs, uh, find us Musa Gallery, we have solution for that. Hello, welcome to Musa Gallery Workshop, Art and Craft. This is our place where we produce marvelous things from Zanzibar. Welcome. Uh, this is our reception where uh, our visitors will come and uh, see. We can talk about our craft here and uh, exchanging our ideas. So you are welcome. Uh, this is our tailoring place. We have our tailors and this is a chief tailor. Here is a place after finishing all our products we are sending here for sewing and ready for packaging to go to the market. You are welcome. Now we are at our class. This is our class where we are using for art for healing. All people were addicted with drugs after getting sober. We take them from sober house to here. So they will stay here for three months for training of 
entrepreneurial skills and mental health. After finishing the course, they are becoming entrepreneurs and they are very skillful. They can trade their things, selling their things in Stone Town, in Zanzibar, local areas. So this is an area where we produce our entrepreneurs. And this is place is our children corner, where, we, where our children are coming every Saturday to learn about creativity. So we are still developing this place for the youth to come and to catch some techniques of doing some creativity. This is our dining room where our fabric after finishing, we are bring them here for giving them dyes. Fabric, all, most of the fabric are white. So when we, we come here, we give them color. They can change to green, yellow. So this is the place where we are making dyeing. And here we have our pot. When we are ready, we boil the works off yeah. uh, here we've got our our this is our small office where our people are busy making some income and outcome this is the place where we keep our records so our Two officers they are busy making their calculation of the day yeah also by using this program we use Photoshop to make some labels to make some small advertisement for for this guy and this lady his name Lea is making an accounting of our sales our things and he's, she's directing us if uh, we are getting lost or we are get we are we are gaining through our business so here is the place where we make our calculations of our business You are welcome. This is our store where after finishing all products we keep here and they will stay here for to go for Stone Town for selling. After all process has been done, all, all products are coming inside of this room and we display it, we look it for the last time and it will be ready to go to, to the market. So this is our store. Thank you. Yeah, this is our lovely place. We like very much. This is place for a coffee for our 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 team. We hope to to finish very soon this place, but now we are using as it is uh we when we get a break for tea we are coming up we drink tea together when we lunch time is ready we come for lunch so we're exchanging idea so all our team like this place so we we, we eat together this place there's a fresh air we enjoy yeah Here we are our, at little workshop where we sharp our tools for working. Uh, all our team, we give them skills to sharpening our tools. For example, if we use some iron tools, so they come here to sharpening. If we use wood tool, we have here, we cut, we have a lot of things. So everything is get broken, we repair them at our workshop here. Ah, this is our main part for production. This area, 
we produce about 8% of our things are produced here. Today we are making batik. This is a second process of making dye from the batik. Uh, so our team, they are busy finishing this piece. In a day, we can make about seven pieces like this. So we hope today we are going to put them a dye for the second coat and then day after tomorrow we'll remove the wax. This is we call batik. Here is a place where we are doing kikois. Our teamwork is busy spinning the 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 yarn ready for making for weaving batik. Here we have got a two people, they weave every day and in a day we can get about six pieces of kikoi. Yeah. Here is the part of weaving process, so our team is starting to weave. So he is busy weaving the fabric, so in a one hour he can weave one kikoi. So hopefully after one hour, eight o'clock, we'll have one kikoi. So this process always we do like this for our production. Yeah. This area is area for screen printing where we we can do screening sometimes we print some t-shirts and these things we do by ourselves from our workshop so we can find all the things from the car then we can build our machines this is a printing place these are recycling works that we are using to put on the fabric the aim of this to put on the fabric is to protect the color, not to penetrate on the, on, the, on the fabric. Once when I put the wax, it means I protect the area, and when I'm going for dyeing the, 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 the fabric, the color will not pass through, to, through on it, so we can have color separation, different layers of color. For those who will, be, who will be like to see our product and buying and exchanging ideas, we are located at Gizenga Street in Stone Town, where our shop is located there. Our contact is, uh, mobile number is plus two five five seven seven forty two twenty six one nine, or you can go by email Musa, M U S S A, at Musa Gallery, M U S S A G A L L E R Y dot com. This is our, our our email, or you can find us by visiting our website. is called w w Musa Gallery dot com. Yeah, or you can find it at Instagram, social media like in, in, in Musa Gallery in Instagram. You can go for a Facebook by Musa Gallery. You can find us. We have very nice product. We're proud for that. And we like you to visit and to see those things are made with 100% by hand. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> So we had a group um, from Dar es Salaam, it's the Tanzania, Tanzania music group. They came uh, in the uh, beginning of July for the music festival here in Zanzibar and uh, there was a recovery, recovery group. Uh, all, all of them, uh, they were uh, drug addicted and uh, now they are not. So we wanted to, to take them from, we, we, we decided to take them from Tanzania and bring them here to show the people that uh, to recovery is possible, to change life is possible, and it's possible to live without drugs. 
they was here, uh, they played around uh, and uh, we was uh, happy to have them around and uh, we hope uh, maybe to to take them again uh, soon in Zanzibar. First let me thank the good Lord for making us, to enable us for, to be here. This is an important day for ZIF. As everybody knows, uh, Zanzibar, the Zanzibar International Film Festival is not only a film festival, it is a cultural festival. Uh, we are going to invite the ambassador of the, of the embassy of uh, Switzerland in Tanzania. Good evening. Abariza Joni. Assalamu alaikum. Ninayo furaha kubwa kuwa na ni hapa Joni. Ina kuwa karibisha katika mjadala huu karibuni sana. These are the type of projects that we need more of in our African communities. We need to empower people more to engage in this type of community works. Kabadika, dunia ina mitiani. 